what to expect at your asylum clinic appointment. Right now, you have an immigration status called humanitarian parole. This is a temporary status that is only good for two years. You will have to renew this status at the end of two years. If you do not, you will be considered out of status and you could be asked to leave the United States to return to Afghanistan. With humanitarian parole, you have been given work permits and social security numbers so that you can work lawfully in the United States. Your work permits and social security numbers are only valid as long as your humanitarian parole is valid. With humanitarian parole, you cannot apply to bring other family members to the United States, such as spouses and children. Now that you are in the United States and settled, it is important that you work toward a permanent immigration status. The U.S. government has made it possible for you to apply for ex expedited asylum status. You must apply for asylum within one year of entering the United States. If you do not, you will not be able to request asylum. If you are granted asylum, you would be able to live in the United States under this country's protection without fear of having to leave. After one year of having asylum status, you can and should apply for your permanent residence. Asylum status also allows you to apply for asylum status for your immediate family, your spouses, and your unmarried children under the age of 21. After receiving asylum status, you can submit an application that allows your family to come to the United States as asylees, but you cannot do that until you've been first applied for and been granted asylum. This is why the asylum clinic is so important. The asylum clinic is a two-part clinic. In part one, or your pre-clinic appointment, you will work with a volunteer who will help you to collect important information about you, your family, your travel history, your prior addresses, your education, and your work history. It is extremely important that the information you provide at this stage is as accurate as possible. In preparation for this part of the clinic, you will receive a handout that lists the information and documents you will need to prepare and gather. If you do not complete part one of the asylum clinic, you cannot participate in part two. Part two is when you will meet with a legal specialist who will help you explain to the US government why you were afraid to return to Afghanistan. The legal specialist will work with you and an interpreter, if necessary, to provide responses to the government's questions about your past persecution, torture, threats of torture, and fear of torture and persecution under the new Taliban government. It is important that you be prepared to speak honestly about your past experiences with the Taliban and any experiences of family currently living in Afghanistan. All of your family members who are present in the United States, even your minor children, must apply for asylum together with you. If you provided any support to the Taliban, for example, gave them food, shelter, money, or weapons, or worked with them in any way, you must disclose this to your legal specialist. Even if you provided this support while under duress, for example, if they threatened to kill you if you did not help them, you still must disclose this. In these cases, we are seeking special legal representation to make sure that we take extra care in preparing your application. When you meet with your legal specialist during part two of the asylum clinic, please make sure to bring any proof of your prior work with the US government or the former Afghan government any evidence of past persecution, threats or harm, and any other evidence you feel supports your fear of returning to Afghanistan. In conclusion, you have humanitarian parole status. This is a temporary status valid for only two years. Before you can help your family, you must apply for asylum. You only have one year after you enter the United States to apply for asylum. If you do not apply within one year, it is very difficult to apply for asylum. In order to apply for asylum, you must collect the information on the list we've provided to you and attend your preclinic appointment. Following your preclinic appointment, you must attend the asylum clinic appointment with your legal specialist and be prepared to openly talk about your experiences in Afghanistan. Thank you for watching this informational video. We look forward to seeing you at your asylum clinic appointments.